Thanks for checking out this video. So let's talk about MoviePass. Uh, two reasons I'm doing this video. One, because I just got some new lighting. As you can see, oh, it gets so bright when I get my hand close to it. But uh, I'm trying that out so I can be in a different location than where I usually am and things should hopefully look better, but bear with me while I play along with it. But anyway, if you clicked on it, you're here to talk about MoviePass. MoviePass, I've been a member since April of this year. So not very long, what's that? Um, five months almost. So, and it was kind of like in the middle-ish of April when it got activated. So, I got in on a special deal that was not the $9.99 or, you know, ten, basically 10 bucks a month. I got in on a deal that was 7 bucks a month with, like, an extra fee. So, all was said and done, I ended up with $97 that I ended up paying. You know, that's shipping handling for the card because they give you an actual card if you are not familiar with it. I'm not really going to talk about, like, necessarily how... Well, I can talk a little bit about how MoviePass works, but um, this will be kind of more people looking for my feelings on MoviePass in general. So, I've been with it for a while, um, enjoyed it, I've enjoyed how it's worked, but there's been a lot of issue with how the company's been running, and I know the stakeholders really know that because they've had a lot of problems with their um, stock going way, 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 way down, and... Yeah, stockholders not very happy about it. So there's been a lot of outcry, especially recently, because they made a really big change. Their initial thing was $10 a month, and you can see as many movies as you want in a year, up to one per day in a theater. So that sounds great, right? You pay this, this flat fee per month, and you can watch, you know, depending on the month, maybe up to 31 movies in that month if, if you'd like to. So they've done a bunch of different things over time that people have been mad about, like adding surge pricing, where it would be you know more in-demand movies or at more in-demand times. They would only cover a portion of the ticket, and maybe you would have to cover like three bucks, five bucks. It kind of depended. Uh, then they started doing ones where they weren't allowing people to go to matinee showings, which that was during a portion where I believe they're having a lot of money trouble, which I shouldn't say we're having there still. <laughs> currently having a lot of financial problems, but um, I think they'd actually run out of money at that point, so they started, you know, having, saying no matinees, and I believe that's because that's when they figured a lot, most people were going. I'm sure they can look at their analytics and figure that out, so they were saying, oh, you know, there are a lot of people going at this time, so let's just shut those off, so uh, then they were having issues with their app, because they have an app on the phone where you actually have to check into the movie, and then it loads money onto the physical card that you have, and it's just kind of used like a credit card, so they were having issues where people were looking it up on the theater, saying, oh, there's a showing that I can go to, I'm going to do, I'm going to go do that, they drive like 15, 20 minutes to get to that theater, they get there, and then they bring up their phone to hit that um, that actual viewing and, you know, get their, their money added to the card and it's not there anymore. So they're kind of playing games like that. So a lot of people are upset about that. And I was upset about that kind of stuff because that's terrible, uh, terrible way to do business. But they are now at a point where they're saying, Hey, we are, we believe we are good now. This is the business model now. So what they went ahead and did, they said, we're going to stop with the surge pricing we're going to open up the times way more than we used to. I think they're still going to limit some movies, like particular movies that are really, really popular. I think they're still going to limit those because, like, for Mission Impossible, the new Mission Impossible, they were actually just blocking it straight up. So I don't know if they're going to continue to still 100% block some or if they're just going to block, like, maybe the opening week or opening two weeks or whatever. That's a little unclear at the moment. But... They're rolling back a lot of those less popular things. But something that people are most pissed about at the moment is that they said, no longer can you see unlimited movies, up to one movie a day. You can only see up to three per month. So people are saying, oh, now I'm, I was paying $10 a month to get up to potentially 31 movies, but now I'm paying $10 a month, the same amount, for three movies. So people are really mad. How do I personally feel about it? Okay, so I told you I've had it since maybe about mid-April. Um, used it eight times now, and it's in early August, so I still have through February, um, no, actually, I'm sorry, through March, so I still have through March, so I have like eight months, almost, I have about eight months left, I've already seen eight movies, 
Uh, so calculating it out with like twelve dollars and fifty cents per normal movie screening, I would have ended up spending about a hundred bucks. At this point, I only spent ninety-seven, so already I'm you know three bucks ahead, and that's good. And it's only going to get better from there for me because I have plenty of time left to go see more movies. And they said they they did analytics. I don't know if this is true, but I could see it being true where they were saying, you know, we looked at it, and the majority of our our um, our people who subscribe are actually only doing three movies, about three movies a month. I think I think they said like they're eighty uh, percent of people who purchase the the uh, the product only go three times a month on average. So I kind of believe that, especially if you're someone like me, like, like you're busy, you have a lot of stuff going on, so you kind of try and fit it in where you can. How many people really have a ton of time to go to the theater? But I can understand where the people who have a lot of time are like, well, this sucks. There's also the issue of the expectation. You know, if you sign up and they have the, all these things promised, like I did, and you know, it was like unlimited up to one a day, and then they start, you know, putting things that you disagree with into practice, like the surge pricing and limiting showings, and then they finally roll it back to, oh, it's only three per month, I could see in comparison you're upset. You're saying, well, I was getting this value, now I'm getting this value. But the point that I've come to is you're still getting a value. You're still getting a deal. It is still a good deal. You know, three movies per month would end up being, what, like 30 seven dollars like around like 38 bucks okay if you go to those three if you're paying out of pocket so if you're paying ten dollars a month for 38 dollars worth of movies you're coming out ahead you're doing just fine and i think that people should kind of calm down about it um yes it it's a problem all the all the times that they that the company has been up and down with like now we're doing this now we're doing this now we're doing this but they're trying to figure out how to best do it. Did, have they handled it well? Absolutely not. Their communication has been crap. They've lied about why things have been happening. With companies, it goes a long way when you are honest. So I think if they would have been honest about everything and said, look, we're in trouble, and we want you guys to know that we want to stick around, we want to be able to provide this service to you, and we don't want to have to jack the price up, so we need to figure something out. So here it is. Instead of just making all these excuses like saying, oh, our app crashed, or we had this problem or that problem, when actually they just didn't have any money, should have been honest. People people will enjoy that more. <laughs> Way more. Including me. But, you know, I came to the conclusion, I'm good. If I can get three a month, I mean, at the moment, I'm sitting at about maybe two a month is what I've been doing. So for me personally, it's still good. I mean, I'm still getting that value. I'd be spending, what, like 25 bucks in a month, but instead, well, with my special plan, seven bucks. I was spending seven bucks instead of 25 bucks per month. That's good for me. That's very good for me. Uh, the people, and the people still, you know, spending the $10 per month, it's still a good deal for you guys. So if people can't get past it, I would say just try and forget it. Keep going with the company. But I do understand there are a lot of people out there who are still looking at that. I was here with what I was getting, now I'm here with what I'm getting, and that sucks, and the company handled it incorrectly, and they did a terrible job, and they weren't straightforward. I understand that. So you can feel free to hold that grudge. And I know that I have definitely held grudges against companies in the past for various things. There are still companies at the moment that I don't you know, buy anything from because I don't like some of their practices or... or there have been ways that I felt like I've been wronged by them. So I understand that, and that's everyone's choice. You can do whatever you want with it. But my analysis of it is a lot of ups and downs, mainly downs over the past year or so for movie past. Well, not even in the last year. Like over the past like four or five months, uh, a lot of up, up downs for them. But we could be on the upswing, you know, not from the standpoint of getting better value going forward, but being steady and getting a good value and getting that great discount and maybe it just stays stable they make enough money and they're good and you know maybe it is a situation where down the road when their money their cash flow starts to become more stable they can start taking a look and saying how do we bring more people in well maybe we should start increasing the amount of viewings that people can have of the films you know maybe they'll then move it to four maybe they'll then move it to five per month 
and then see if they can get more people coming in and up their revenue. So I don't know. I'm just speculating on some things, but um, those are kind of my feelings on it. Uh, let me know what you think because I really, I really haven't talked to all that many people about the whole movie pass situation, and I'm just interested to see what everyone's view is on it. I mean, I have been on Twitter and seen the hashtag movie pass fail which actually is kind of fun to look at so if you're on Twitter just go look at hashtag movie pass fail because some real pissed off people on there and they say some funny slash interesting things so that's mainly what I've been seeing is mainly people who are mad but I've talked to eh, not many people just a few about you know their feelings and most people are kind of like eh, I don't know so I really would like to hear, leave some comments down there and let me know your feelings on it, whether you, you know, are a movie pass person or you're not a movie pass person. You know, from someone on the outside looking in at this debacle, uh, what are your thoughts? But, but more interested on in people who are in with the company, and that's new people and that's older people. Um, the other thing I should address really, really fast is the fact that I saw some people who were really mad because they literally, like a week prior signed up for movie pass and then that next week is when they were like yeah it's not unlimited anymore now it's just three i could really understand being mad at that point if you so i guess it matters like kind of when you became aware of movie pass how much information you have about their ups and downs and you know how long it was from when you got it to when changes happened so a lot of factors but yeah let's let's talk down here um if you guys want more videos talking about these types of topics, um, not necessarily movie pass in particular, but other you know current events type things, especially like nerdy current events type things, we can get into that. But leave comments down there. Let's start a conversation about this. And uh, you can like the video if you like it. You can thumbs down it if you don't like my opinions or whatever. That's fine with me. I don't really care. Let's just be cool. Um, we'll have a civil conversation about things. And subscribe. Uh, subscribing would be really nice. It doesn't take you much time. You just hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you want to know when all my videos come up, you can hit the bell for the notification and you'll be alerted to when I have new videos. But if you don't really want to check it out, just do me a solid. Just hit the subscribe and don't hit the bell. Because like I said, it doesn't take much for you guys, but it, mean, it can mean a lot for my channel in the long run because I want to do more stuff. But anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.